present you. My name is Emily, and this is my near future East Asian City Skylines build. So, I do want to apologize ahead of everything. This episode took so many iterations, so many revisions, that I either got fed up and stopped recording, or I would be messing around trying to figure out what I wanted, only to finish part of the build without having recorded any of it. So the footage does jump around a good bit, and a lot of the actual building process is left off camera. You'll get a good look at everything in the cinematics though. In this episode, I'm starting on the main train station for Chenshu, along with the depot for the trains. I drew a lot of inspiration from Clapham Junction for this build. The tracks come together in a very similar fashion, and I liked how the depot was basically built right into the station, and I tried to emulate that within the constraints of the landscape. This station connects two intercity lines, a high-speed terminus, and three local lines, so I expect it to be a very busy place once the city has grown a bit more. I also plan on adding a bus hub in a later episode. Right now, you can see me trying to negotiate the high-speed tracks through the interchange I built in episode 1. I actually had to grab the entire thing with Move It and raise it up significantly just to fit anything under it. I hadn't initially planned on any changes to the interchange, but now it looks like it's going to be a pretty heavily developed area. I'm super excited to see how it changes. Now I'm starting on the depot. Again, I drew a lot of inspiration from Clapham Junction for this, so it's not an especially big depot, just a single shed and some tracks to the side with a few buildings nearby. That being said, it may be the biggest depot in the entire map. I don't think I can justify anything much larger than this, given how small of an area I have to build on. Another challenge that comes with big projects like these is how hilly this map is. As you may have noticed, I had to flatten a significant chunk of land ahead of building anything here, and the rest of the map is no different. I do have plans for another depot, for the high-speed trains, so that'll be an exciting project for the future. The only issue currently is figuring out where it can possibly go. There aren't a whole lot of spots where it could fit that also makes sense. But back to the current build, I had a blast putting this together. I forget the creator of this warehouse, but I turned it into a procedural object and then chained it together into a single long structure. Then I put down some tracks next to it, where I eventually set out some of the trains that I'm using for the intercity connections. I might go back and tidy up some of the detailing, especially the catenaries, but if I do it to the rail yard, I have to do it to the entire build, and I'm not sure that's the kind of detail I'm prepared to invest in. Here you can see me struggling with the rails. Again, I don't know anything about trains. I don't know how these areas are structured, how the rails come together, how any of it works. I'm open to suggestions, but I'm mostly just building stuff that looks about right to me and trying to have fun in the process. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't much else of the depot recorded, as I mentioned at the start of the video. Now we're headed over to the station itself, which I'm super excited about. Like I said, I drew some inspiration from Clapham Junction for this project, mainly in the overall structure. The way the rails come together, the shape, the relative positioning of the depot, the shape of the walkway connecting the platforms. I had originally built it as a curved station, but unfortunately the trains have some odd behavior when they stop on a curved segment. The trailing cars draw a straight line to the lead once the train gets moving again, and they go right through the platforms and anything else in the way, or they drift through the air depending on the direction. So instead I opted for straight station segments with curved segments leading in and out of the station. For the walkway, I used these modular Seiya station assets by Yodo. They're generic enough that I think I'll probably use them on a lot of the stations I plan on building, but it doesn't take away from the unique look of the station at all. They're a bit wide, as you can tell, so I do go back off camera and use procedural objects to make the stairway about half as wide. 
I did get some inspiration for this build, but I also did my own thing for part of it. With the two sets of tracks joining together, and the road passing under the station, there was this sort of interior triangular space that I knew had to be part of the station. I decided to turn it into a plaza, with commercial buildings lining the edges. I forget who made them, but I used these low-rise commercial buildings as procedural objects so I could edit them and make them fit under the platforms. I actually turned them back into functional buildings though, using the commercial blocks by Nalin, and I used the spawn points mod to position each one's spawn point by the road. So the whole plaza is completely functioning. I'll likely build a proper loading bay somewhere on the station at some point, but for this video we're only doing about a third, maybe half of the building. For this part, I knew I wanted to extend the track level out over the plaza, and I also needed to define the edge of the tracks, since I'm not using a bridge segment for any of these rail networks. So I used this decorative border network, which I combined with ploppable gravel, to form this curve above the entrance to the station building. All the rest, sadly, wasn't recorded. As I said, there were so many iterations that nothing I did record was even relevant. I did some custom flower beds using retaining walls and ploppable gravel, along with the sunken area in the plaza. I did that using clipping surfaces, retaining walls, and procedural objects to sink part of the land just a few steps down into the ground. I also used a ton of planters and functional park benches, along with an animated fountain, to finish off the plaza. There are people walking around in the cinematics, but the population of the city is still zero. Those are all tourists, mostly there because of the fountain. With that, what little is left of the build is about done, so it's on to the cinematics. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.